From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Tonight, it's another installment of the International Series, and we've got a good one on tap between the Chicago Bears and the San Francisco 49ers. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Bears offense here going back to work. You know, 2019, not what they were hoping for in the Windy City. An 8-8 eight eight finish, third best in the NFC North. Uh, and Charles, what do you see from the Bears in 2020? I see a team that has a chance to get back into playoff contention. And we have to start the quarterback position. I know people get bored with that. But that's what it comes down to for the Bears. Remember. They acquired Nick Foles in the offseason to compete with Mitchell Trubisky. My spies tell me that Trubisky's doing quite well so far in training camp. They need him to seize that position because this was an offense that was just 29th in the league last year. They were much better than that the year before when they made the playoffs. And how about that defense partner? I think it still scares people. Yeah, any defense, Charles, uh, with Khalil Mack, that'll scare the heck out of you. Second and 10 now, it's Trubisky. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. On third down, Trubisky out to his left. He may try and run for this. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that plays over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Brings up the red zone coverage there. Thought there was some space to send their guy right into the middle on a slant, hoping he would get lost. Instead, they read it quite well and closed quickly. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Out of the gun, Trubisky. This is caught by Ginn. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the race. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. And that's the rookie, Javon Kinlaw, who got in there to bring him down. From the short time this San Francisco organization has been configured the way that it is, you've seen their draft patterns. And when they traded to Forrest Buckner to Indianapolis, many people are wondering, What's going to happen to the interior of the defensive line? Well, they replaced him right away with Javon Kinlaw, the rookie out of South Carolina. And I expect him to make a big impact early as a rookie. Plays with great leverage. I love his hands and really good intensity each and every snap. The 49er offense going to work again. And this organization back amongst the elites in the NFL following a 13-3 regular season last year. Had a good run through the playoffs. Of course, it ultimately ended with the loss in Super Bowl 54. But is this a group that caught lightning in a bottle, you think? Or are they in it for the long haul, CD? I see the long haul, and I thought that they were building towards that. Because you remember two years ago, they had a disappointing season. But we all thought they would be better, but they were struck by the injury bug. Well, last year, they were able to play through most of that. And they played awfully well. And look, Joe Staley, their stalwart left tackle, retires. They replace him with Trent Williams, who's at least as good, if not better. So I think this is a team that knows how to retool, knows how to handle things. Now we just got to answer a few questions. Is Raheem Mostert a true lead back in the backfield? Can Jimmy Garoppolo bounce back from the Super Bowl? And on the defensive side of the ball, well, I think they'll continue to get better on that side as well because Nick Bosa hasn't come close to reaching his peak. Now, Charles, though, the injury's a little concerning. You got Debo Samuel with a foot injury, and then Brandon Ayuk, he's got the hamstring issue. Yeah, and he's the first-round pick out of Arizona State who was supposed to pick up the slack for Debo Samuel while he was out. 
They're hoping both of them can make it back for opening day. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. But that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Second and ten. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to keep it here. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. To the 48-yard line. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. What we hear so often, how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. And this will do the job nicely as that'll be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? First down, Garoppolo. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. But we, we fought these two defenses. They might come to play. One has already come to play here. A safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's pile this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. That's pulled in at the 32. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Tariq Cohen out of the backfield. And now it's second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Trubisky to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A Chicago first down to former Jag Allen Robinson on the catch from Trubisky. You always thought Allen Robinson was a high flyer from his days at Penn State, and none of that has changed with the Chicago Bears. If you throw the ball out to the perimeter, if it's a 50-50 ball, more times than not, he's going to come down with it. And some say he was the victim of some subpar quarterback play last year. He didn't let that bother him at all. Still had 98 catches and over 1,000 yards receiving. Allen Robinson just goes out and plays and plays hard each and every week. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Again, it's Trubisky, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Trubisky to throw again. And Gim's got it. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. And that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. They'll run for the first time with Tariq Cohen. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Taken down right at no gain on the play there. Second down. On the play. Second free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. Now Trubisky to throw on second. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. He's at the 50. The 30. 10. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. He is a difference maker at the linebacker position. He had a pick six last year, remember it? But it's different for those guys, isn't it, than a corner or a safety? It certainly is because sometimes they're pattern reading, seeing what the receivers are doing. Sometimes they're spot dropping, just getting to a place on the field and finding the quarterback and going to the ball. But remember this, these linebackers, at one time in their life, a lot of them were running backs. And they love having the ball back in their hands and making big moves towards the end zone. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, Let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. First carry now for David Montgomery. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. 
That one, a first down pickup of eight. Nice game there by the second year runner out of Iowa State, David Montgomery, who often finishes his runs moving forward and knocking defenders back. He finished tied with Josh Jacobs for the most carries by a rookie last year. But what the Bears need from him? Improve on his 3.7 yards per attempt. If he gets that up into the fours, look out. He can control a game with his running. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Brandon, how about that reaction there from a defensive end? Able to recognize the screen pass trying to happen. Broke off his pass rush. And they get back to tackle the running back. That's a very athletic and intelligent play. Reminds me of you working out and seeing that the treadmill. And the Niners get there and bring him down. D4 showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team that had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. And this is going to be incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing, and for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress, and I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to have the football back again. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out. Give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for the beginning of the rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. A seven yard well, I haven't met an NFL player yet that doesn't use criticism as an edge. And Jimmy Graham has heard that a number of people think he's near the end of his career. And he didn't put up the numbers he should have put up in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. I think he's going to put a huge chip on his shoulder. Nice catch there. And he wants to show flashes of that form that he exhibited early in his career with New Orleans and Seattle. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up third down and two. Third and two. Now Trubisky. And he finds Jimmy Graham. 
And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. First and 10 at the 47. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. One yard gain. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On second and nine, Trubisky. Give him nine yards on the scramble there, but it does leave him still a few inches shy with third down looming. Yard line. Brings up third down. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. A loss of a yard. It's fourth down. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Niners seven, Bears two. Eddie Pinheiro for the Bears field goal. A 55-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick. But let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. They'll start on the ground with Moster. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the pickup, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. Here we go, here we go. I'm going back to you. I'm going back to you. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. A play fake for Mostert. Now Garoppolo under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. And there's a familiar sight, Khalil Mack putting a quarterback down in the backfield for another sack. I know he only had eight and a half sacks in 2019, so a lot of people wrote that off as, hey, what's going on with Khalil Mack? You do realize he's getting doubled and tripled on just about every snap, but that was the first time since his rookie year of 2014 that he finished the season with less than 10 sacks. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. George Kittle is easily one of the elite tight ends in the NFL. Back-to-back -back seasons of 88 and 85 catches. We just saw another one right there. Anytime he lines up on the field, you better treat him as a primary receiver and make sure you have a second guy in the vicinity to try and cover him. Open man is Samuel, complete. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. And Debo Samuel is another one of those young receivers that not only looks like a running back, 
but plays like one after the catch, and he had one of the best seasons among 2019's rookie receivers. Just over 800 yards receiving, but by the time the playoffs hit, he had become WR1 for the 49ers, and now with the departure of Emmanuel Sanders, that should give him even more looks. Look for him to catch the ball downfield and also take it out of the backfield. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Oh, it's a jet sweep. Here comes Miller. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Richard Sherman on the tackle. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Niners' 42-yard line. On second and one, Trubisky. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. I couldn't quite hear, but I can imagine it was a big look out to the quarterback as Nick Bosa got to him yet again for another sack. The 2019 Defensive Rookie of the Year, he continues to make an impact now, and I expect that for seasons to come. Not only is he a great player himself, because of his work, because of his excellent play, he makes everyone else in that defensive line that much better, too. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. I would think that by now people are done underestimating Tariq Cohen because of his stature when they see him at about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, but he can do it all. He can run inside, run to the perimeter, but he also catches the ball really well in the backfield. And he had more receptions than carries last season. He kind of looks like Darren Sproles, who's been his inspiration as an NFL player. In 2018, Tariq Cohen was a pro bowler as well. The pass rush specialist, D. Ford, in on the stop. No gain on and as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Intended for Alan Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. But you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Trubisky will throw, and Graham's got it. Complete. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And his kick is good, not by much. It was leaking oil in the end, but he tucks it in the bottom right corner. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Richie James on the return. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. Factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Coming up on second and seven. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Niners on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Draw play, Garoppolo gives to Mostert. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. He's back Eddie Goldman on the tackle, a huge man, hard to move out of the way. He's in his sixth year with the Bears out of Florida State. Eight yards to go on second down. On play action, now Garoppolo. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver. Third down here. Kendrick Bourne. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Niners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Taking a shot for Samuel. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. And the punt team on now as this one's set away. Call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Onto the field now come the Bears. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Kwan Williams, the one that got him down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Here's Trubisky to throw. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. 
Oh, it's a wobbler here. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer. Create space for our runners. And let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. Oh, so close to an interception. Read that beautifully. Got his hands on it. Couldn't get it. And it's second down. Jalen. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover. Bat it free. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Open man is born. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. Four brings up third and six. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice with the encore. You know, you know. The Niners on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. from the gun, Garoppolo. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make it a second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And you can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll pull it down. He'll have a first down past the 40. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and ten, it's Trubisky stepping up. He's going to keep it. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down and three. Throwing here, Trubisky. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Trubisky. All that 
gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up, running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield, and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. set to get this drive underway. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. shot here before half he's gonna loft one deep over the middle and a little floater there is incomplete so we have reached halftime here in a tight two-point contest as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports halftime report forecast calling for more of the same the rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half and a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done, they're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Now it's second and nine. Here's Garoppolo to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. To throw is Garoppolo. And now Garoppolo lost the football. And I think the Bears have recovered. They have. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Recovered by the Bears. Following the fumble recovery, it's Trubisky. Now Trubisky lost the football. Richard Sherman. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Oh, he 
always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them. If it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal. That's, That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They'll run with Montgomery. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Mostert. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And now we're going to get a delay of game. And that's going to back him up halfway. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. On second down, here's Garoppolo. His throw incomplete. Well, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he'll go down for a loss inside his own five at the four. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. Shifts past him at the 45. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. First down, a run with Cohen. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. A gain of three, second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. From the 41, Trubisky and quickly into the hands of Robinson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. 
first and ten. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. The connection made, it's Graham. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A seven-yard pickup. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now with shotgun handoff to Cohen. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 19-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. Rolling to his right. He's going to take off with it. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it that time to Ted Ginn, but it'll be second and goal. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second down at seven. From the gun, it's Trubisky. This will be caught at about the six. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On third and goal, Trubisky. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Bears have retaken the lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Now James returning. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Garoppolo to try again on second down. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. 
They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Garoppolo. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. The Bears take over first and 10. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. And it was D.J. Jones who was there for the tackle. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 35 on second down, Trubisky steps away to his left. He'll try and run it. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. He's brought down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. He will push his way down to about the 14. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Now it's Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pick up through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Montgomery back to the ground. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery taking it in. And the Bears will extend their lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collected victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone?
O'Donnell. To After the touchdown on O'Donnell. is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Got the connection here to Bourne. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Options galore here, second and a few inches. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Seven yards there at a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Garoppolo on first down. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Mostert. Three yards the game there, second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. George Kittle, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do, so I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and possession will switch hands first and 10. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 23. He'll set up the throw from the gun. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Trubisky's pass intercepted. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. He finds Taylor complete. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Seven brings up second and three at the 20-yard line. Three yards remain for second down. They hand it off to Mostert. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. There's Garoppolo on first and ten. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. The Niners on third down. Not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for ten. This is third and ten. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. The sack there by Roquan Smith. And they went empty backfield, and because of that, nobody was there to pick up the blitz. And you know that offenses, when they go to the empty backfield, they have different things designed on every play to try to account for things. But what people often forget, defense is audible as well. And a lot of times when they see an empty backfield, they audible right into a blitzing situation. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that lead is back down to nine now. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bears offense ready to get going again. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 26. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Oh, Cohen lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he's able to bring it out five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. He'll get this into the hands of Moster. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Pettis hauling this in from Garoppolo. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 21. 12 yards there and a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Not much there, only a yard. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. 
They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they'll get this down to the 10. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. Here's Mostert. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five yard line. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. One more time with Mostert. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point in the game. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And that'll move him back within six now. That drive took him inside to ten. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. Now it's Patterson. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Boy, a tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high. The tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Brings up well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down. Have to stop them. Have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. 
That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 27. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. At the 28-yard line. Second and 11. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he completes it to Cohen. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Slot on the right is Graham. Second and goal from inside the five. Draw play here. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he will fight his way in. Not giving up there. And he's got a Bears touchdown. And taking it in from four yards out as the Bears push further out in front. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. You can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. So the signal caller doing it himself there on the two-point try. You got to like that. We always talk about the ball staying in the hands of the best players, but most of the time you want to get it to a back, pitch it to a wide receiver. In this case, the quarterback did it himself. After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Here's James. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Garoppolo and the Niners now. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 50 to play. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns and they need them in short order. down throw and his throw here's incomplete he was looking that time for Dante Pettis but it'll be second down you and I watched film yesterday and you told me to watch his feet well, for whatever reason his footwork just looked off on that throw and you always love it when an ex defensive back talks quarterback mechanics right well, but you're good at it well I, I try all right I don't know how good I am but it doesn't take much to tell his mechanics are off a little bit exactly what you described footwork that led to the incompletion and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here we go. 
from the gun. It's Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. The 40 yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Open man is born. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Out of bounds at the 36-yard line. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. And couldn't hang on third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And that is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll try it now with Mostert. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line of the game. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bears will get the football back. Turnover on down. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10 at their 38. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Niners going to single for their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. The Chicago offense set to get started, and they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. And Trubisky down to a knee, and that is all she wrote. Trubisky on the keeper. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears, and they were booing Charles by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said, <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.